the real sketch, the untold story of Jamie Ma. Jamie Ma. Let's watch, let's watch. Apparently Sketch did like OnlyFans or something before streaming. Let's go. The sketch real was previously an LGBTQ plus adult content what? creator. He used names like Jamie wow. Mar HTXXX, Jamie Mar TX, Jamie Mar NSFW, and Jamie's Code Tour names to create and promote content on places like OnlyFans, as well as X, formerly known as Twitter. This video was awkward to write, and it was just as awkward to put images together for. Nah, we're chill, we're edit. chill, we're fine, we're fine. I'm positive that awkwardness will translate into the viewing experience. So I appreciate you for watching and sharing if you see fit. I also want to add all the information and visuals are sourced from public content sites like OF, like Reddit, like X. None of this was pulled from Kylie Cox's personal life Automated. or personal data. This was all things that Kylie created. And also that VIP for one stream I think is done by mods. Not like automated, but the VIP, I, I, I done that. I, I made him VIP. Shared in his previous attempt to become internet famous prior to his content creation under the moniker of Sketch. I sat on this story for a couple of weeks. I was unsure if, if I really needed to create it and share it with the world. Bro, However, I did go to school. Why did this dude, like, really? I mean, it's for content, but like, this guy was is that invested to do all this research to see, like, if Sketch did like a gay only fans back in the day, before streaming. For journalism and NJ school, they taught us if a story meets the standards of timeliness, proximity, interest, controversy, Bro, just waffling right now, this sensationalism, dude. prominence, and novelty, according to Shoemaker at all, 1987, it is news. Right, where's the juicy parts now? To be shared with the. Who is Sketch? Who is Sketch? Chap? Who is who is he? For those of us unfamiliar with Kylie Cox, he's a native Houstonian and Texan. Houstonian. Who once upon a time played linebacker at the Woodlands Christian Academy. He's a member of the Kappa Sigma fraternity at Mississippi State University. Black is from Texas. He later transferred to the University of Oklahoma, then Texas State. <sighs> okay, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can one v one. You know what I just realized? When was it? Did I stream yesterday? No, I didn't. I don't even remember. Did I stream yesterday? I don't know. The day before. Last stream. Bro, Blatt is actually gay, chat. This dude Blatt. He's gay. This dude's from Texas as well. And if Sketch... If Sketch used to do gay only fans, bro, Blatt might have done a collab with this dude. Bro, the, the story is just unraveling right in front of me. This is crazy and Lone Star College before ultimately deciding academics was not for him. At some point in 2023, Cox created the character Sketch and started to live stream himself playing Madden NFL on TikTok. He did this for a few months and then one day, overnight seemingly, his catchphrase, what's up brother, went viral. I need to come up with this catchphrase, chat. I need to come up with one. Since then, 2024 has been a major year for Kylie Cox. He's partnered with people like the Houston Texans, Kai Sinat, and AMP. Okay, look at this, dude. So, so like, the only reason I know about this video is because I was watching... Bro, what is, what is this whole paragraph? Texas wants to become an independent state. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I've heard of that. that they wanted to become an, in an independent state for a long time. I mean, country. Like, independent from the US. But anyways, bro. I've, I've, been, I've seen parts of this vid because I was watching another streamer. Some, some kid called Maxwell. I just clicked on his stream randomly. And he was, he was watching this vid. And, like, he's part of FaZe. So, like, they're friends. It was him, Stable Ronaldo, and then another dude called Lacey. He's like re a really big Fortnite, like streamer, very big Fortnite streamer, and yeah, and they're they're friends with this dude, and at one point in the vid, he was like that 
see that, see that. Bro, if you got a, if you put on a wig, he low key looked like a girl, sorta. Cause like his face right here, it's not very like masculine. Like Fortnite. You know, like this dude right here, he looks more masculine. Like some dudes look a little bit feminine. Jinxie. Do I look feminine? Other nah, sports I don't. teams I don't. like the Dallas Mavericks, Tennessee Titans, and March Madness, and other people have been seen doing his "What's Up, Brother" emote, if you will. What's up, brother? Uh, the likes of Bryce Harper, Johan Rojas, Bo Naylor, Kyle Tucker, just to name a few. But really, many of us only Where's know the moving that sketch. We only know the sketch from 2023. And in recent interviews, Kylie has said that prior to becoming a sketch, this all. all he did was work with his family in their real estate business from 2020 to 2023. Okay, realtor. That could be part of the story, but we will uncover. It now, is this is actually crazy, story. though. Uncovering the story. For those of you unfamiliar with my channel, I love to connect popular media with old school philosophy oh, or even new school bro. philosophy. I ran across the comment from user Red Warfus on it. I researched for Sketch's personal that belief system. That. I ran across the comment from user Red Warfus on Instagram. Thomas Miller, Google. Jamie Ma. Mart? Mart XXX and. Jamie Ma. <laughs> NSFW to see Sketch. In his true form. Just a warning. It's sexually graphic. He loves taking BBC. What? Who suggested Ooh. Googling Jamie Marr HTXXX and Jamie Marr NSFW to quote see sketch in his true form. With the warning that there was graphic content to be seen. In doing this, I discovered that before Sketch, Kylie Cox led a life of an LGBTQ plus. Okay, bro, you didn't need to type that. I think we got the idea. Known as Jamie Marr. I think we know what that means. Sex. British Broadcasting Service. Bro, what? That's Sketch with a wig! Leaks. Bro, is this dude actually. Okay, so, so this is Leaks. This is like a leak website, but like, obviously, this YouTuber put like, stuff on it. And my teacher... ...called my friend Mr? What? As well as the several dot, dot, other dot. monikers related to it. I understand that that is a very serious claim that again, can have very huge implications on his future. So yes, we want to be certain that this person, Jamie Marr, HTXXX, is Kylie Cox, who is Sketch. There's no way, there's no way that's not Sketch. A Sketch with a red wig, bro. I mean, at the very base level, if you just look at the name, Jamie Marr HTXXX, or Jamie Marr TX, that would indicate to us that this person is in the Texas area, specifically Houston. Bro, this dude- Which, we know- oh My gosh, bro. This dude, Blatt, is doing OF collabs with Sketch. Before you blow up, bro. This is crazy. For a fact, is where Kylie Cox, aka Sketch, resides at as well. When we follow that name to Reddit, we get more confirmation that this person is indeed in Houston because in 2021, they posted several times looking for Houston. Is this Sketch? What the heck? Bro, I'm so annoyed because I got a light here, you know, light. I used to be able to adjust it. Now it's just on full, like, blast. Like, I can't turn it down. So it makes me look so pale. Like, I'm not this pale, guys. I got some color. Check Discord? What do you mean, check Discord? About what? What do you send me? Okay. It's an area meetup. 22, any tops looking in spring? What? Just took the best. I'm not gonna read the rest. You don't got color, you got melanin? They also posted a handful of times promoting their content on Twitter. Now, when you follow the link to Twitter... Uh, is that a dude? No, is this actually sketch, bro? Oh, come on, dude. Fortunately, or unfortunately, however you want to say.
I got stream sniped. I'm getting stream sniped. Slice this. The account has been scrubbed from the internet. In fact, most things associated with Jamie Marr have been scrubbed for the internet. Dino. Or at least... A and Dino, what do you mean he'll get banned? This dude? This dude that made this vid? Tempted yeah, so to I have look, been I stream snipes. Still, things remain. IRL. Things like a video in 2022 from Big DJ who features Jamie Marr HTXXX. And looking at the screenshot here, we can see this person very closely resembles Kylie Cox or Sketch. I mean, most of which are, we're going to have to just go off visual. What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Bro, is this real? Is this real? What? What's up, Camwell? Bro, you know Sketch? Apparently he used to do a, a gay OF, bro. And I'm watching a bit on it. I've got my camera here for a reason. I've got my camera there for a reason, bro. Oh, 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 oh. Anyways, how you going, Kenwell? Welcome back. Bro, you haven't been here for the last two streams, and this is like, you come back and then I'm watching this. <sighs> and reference bro is this actually sketch or is this like some bad is this some ai because if this is ai this is actually so this is so messed up this is so messed up saying jamie marr kylie cox and sketch but i do believe that is more than enough especially okay i'm gonna move my cam back The bottom left look it looks AI. This one looks real. The middle one looks real. The middle one looks real, bro. Some sketch, but I. I'm not sure. This might be legit. This is crazy. This is. I don't know, bro. Cause like. Like, there's legit accounts. Legit accounts. Because, bro, it could be fake. Or, like, whoever, if this is fake, whoever made this fake stuff, put in that much effort. Like, actual OnlyFans accounts. Like, posting stuff on Reddit. And, like, Twitter. That's so much work for, like, faking this stuff. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I do believe that is more than enough, especially paired with the fact that this character is in Houston, Texas. Sketches in Houston, Texas a lot. What? What's the account name? Bro, do you want to follow his OF? Oh, also, also. Everyone go to emojis and use them and use the new emojis. People go through all that work. There's there's a there's new emojis. Like channel emojis. I've added some. A lot of his things are adding up. Most of the video content is way too explicit to share here on YouTube, so we can't go through. No way. Bro's got a collar. He looks so young here. He's got a collar on, bro. Too graphic for YouTube, so what, you don't got pants on? You got a collar, bro, that's... Mm. Through it, how... <sighs> However, I do suggest you do the research yourself. A quick search will pull up exactly what you're looking for. One thing I can show is very edited down pictures, uh, the likes of which, one, show Jamie Marr. Dude's name is Jamie Marr here. And I'm, I guess, bro, is this dude wearing a, a thong? Like, not the thong that goes on your feet. This dude is wearing panties and a bra. Bro, why are you guys saying real? Wearing very distinctive... Why are you guys using the real one? ...rectangular glasses, which are identical to the ones that Sketch often wears. What the heck? No, that's actually crazy, bro. Because, like, the other ones, yeah, they 
could have stuck his face on, but like, they even got the same glasses. It's not exactly the same though, because look, there's... Ooh. <laughs> nah. <laughs> what? Is this secretly like, sketch... So this is like... This might actually be Sketch's secret identity. Even as recently as um, a month or so ago. Again, most of it's cut out in this picture, but we can see the bottom of the rectangle. Hey, but, but don't go hating on Sketch. Like, I don't... Like, I mean, if this is his past, it is his past, but this is pretty crazy to me. Like, this is such a curveball. Bro. I'm just thinking about it, because, you know, when people blow up, Eventually, sometimes, if they got, like, skeletons in their closet, or, like, stuff that they've done, done in the past, you know, it comes up to the surface, and they might get cooked from it. Like, this, if this is actually legit real, you know, I don't know, maybe he might, he might lose some fans from this, I don't But, like, I'm just thinking, what could someone actually pull up on me? Like, say, who knows, a year from now, two years, I don't know, m maybe, who knows, I get thousands of viewers each stream. But, like, I'm just thinking right now... What could someone pull up and like, like pull up some stuff and get on me? I can't think of anything right now. He got sponsored by the NFL? Yeah. Is it sponsor or did he just like, what's it called? Is it a sponsor or is it just like a partnership? I can't look at bro the same. Bro! This is not lotion. This is curling cream, bro. Cream. Curling cream. I got curly hair. I got two. I got two. Curling cream. Curling cream. This is not lotion, chap. This is not lotion. Bro, look. It's got a dude's head there because it's for hair, bro. It's for hair. Back to the vid, back to the vid. Why are you saying sure? <sighs> bro, it's not lotion. That are blue, and then the arms being a distinctive brown. And if it was lotion, so what, bro? Like, my arms are dry, my legs are dry, you know? But it's not lotion. Perhaps a black color. Again, cross-reference with other pictures of Sketch. Those are the exact same glasses. Now, yes, people often have the same glasses, or at least the same... Um, Aura of glasses, but aura. blue rectangular flame, frames with colored arms is very unique. And connecting that with nah, not for that, not for like what? What? I'm not a gooner. I'm not a gooner. You know the the very unique look of Sketch in the hometown of Sketch in the hometown of Jamie Marr. It's hard to chalk that up as nah. He, he couldn't make it in the NFL, so he just made it. So, so you just joined the OF League. You can't can't comment. What do you mean can't comment on what? It's coincidence I'm only. Sim but bro, like, bro, this dude's sucking someone's meat there. No, bro. If this ain't sketch, this must be his, like. This might be his twin that they got separated at birth or something, and somehow they both live in Texas. You got no comment? Similarly, we have Jamie Marr wearing um, black wireframe glasses and a hairstyle. Nah, but it looks fake. Crazy lookalike. No, but if, 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 if this is like, what's it called? Like, fake, or if this is just some lookalike, bro. Like, because this, this was only posted 18, 19, eight, 19 hours ago. When I clicked on it, it was 18. Bro. And this is new. This is new stuff. So this is going to probably blow up in the next few days. This is, this, this is going to blow up in the next few days. Oh, that's awesome. i got to edit this vid, get it out there. Bro, boom. Thousands of views. Let's go. Very similar Deep to Sketch, fake? aka Maybe. Kylie Cox. So this is now two ways to connect Jamie Moore and Kylie Cox. The blue rectangular glasses, the black wireframe glasses, paired with the location-based matchmaking. 
It's very hard to just chalk that up. YouTube, I'm going to get you in your sleep, bro. You're not getting anyone. Maybe just so happens. Jamie Marr lives in the same place and wears the same glasses and hairstyle as Kylie Cox. This is really all that I can share on YouTube without getting entirely too graphic and again, just, you know, getting my video taken down and defeating the whole purpose of this. I will likely share more evidence on Reddit or honestly, just Google Jamie Marr HTXXX yourself. Don't Google that unless you're yeah, don't Google this crap chat. Share. So, so this must be like a video. I'm not reading this out. Why do they look like sketch? You get it? Wow. What? <sighs> yeah. Th 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 this isn't fact, but... Hmm. More evidence on this Reddit isn't proven, but or honestly, very sus. Just Google Jamie Mar HTXXX yourself. You guys can Google if you want. I don't. You'll see. It's really. I don't think that's a good idea. Hard to find if you know where to look. After this is really where I kind of got tripped up when I was thinking about how to write about this and, and create a video because I thought to myself, is all that I really have to say that. Kylie Cox initially started out as a adult content creator. That's not super duper exciting. Yes, it's breaking news. It's new information. But how does that really bolster the channel that I'm trying to create here and, and telling a story of history and, and philosophy attached to these pop cultural events and icons? So I had to do some research. I, I, I thought to myself, what if after the allegation, he goes back to, <laughs> he goes back to his old ways? Should we watch this bit? History of actors and X work. Should we watch this? This has nothing Why to do with is sketch. It that X workers are always directly linked to the entertainment industry, the the actrix industry. Why do they always transition back and forth so easily? Is this just a twenty first century thing? Is this first Doctor Disrespect now sketch? No, nah, but the Doctor Disrespect one's like legit though. This isn't, like, legit yet. This is just, like, he's from the same place. Like, this Jamie Ma, dude. Sa they're from the same place. They got, like, the same glasses on. They look, like, identical. That's, that's the only information we've got so far. It's the rise of TikTok and OF and Linktree. Is that what really has gotten us here? Is it Instagram's fault? Um... And in researching, I found that, I mean, the, the two have always been linked together and escapable. Okay, so he, he's just talking about why, like, um, this could easily be faked with AI. And, yeah, I know. This is, it's not, this is not confirmed. But it's very sus. So he's, he's just talking about, like, why corn stars, stuff like that, adult film actresses. Like, not actresses, like, actors and stuff have such, have so much to do with, like, the entertainment industry. Let's skip this, though. What's the conclusion of this vid? With that, I leave you to make your own decisions and, and thoughts and feelings about this information that I've shared today. I am very interested, interested to see how to sketch respond to the resurfacing of Jamie Marr. Perhaps I am over-exaggerating the importance of my video. Perhaps it will reach the same 300 people that it always does, and it actually won't reach Sketch, and, and he won't have to address these. Um, so he usually gets 300, pe 300 views. Bro, when I clicked on this, I only, it, this has gained 10,000 views since I clicked on it, I'm pretty sure. Thanks. But if it does, I would like to see how does... How do, how do people respond to this? I think we give we've a seen like? in previous years being LGBTQ plus is not a career ender that it used to be. And so I feel a little bit comfortable in, in sharing this, knowing that. I mean, um, I think to situations like Isaiah Rashad where a similar kind of revelation happened and most people leaned into him and, and, and supported him. And so I would love to see the same thing happen for uh, Kylie Cox. And in fact, I would love to see Kylie Cox actually stand on this and... Um, 
use it as a, as a learning experience, a teaching experience, a way to enrich and deepen his um, presence online and his, his partnerships. And I'd love to see how his partnerships respond. You know, do the Texans continue to lean in, in, into him? Do Kai Sinat and AMP continue to lean into him? Will Fortnite lean into him? Or will we all shy away and, and say this is um, not brand safe? Um, I guess time will tell. With that, again, I have to, um, I want to caveat the way that I started this. This is not about shaming Kylie. He has the right to live his life. Um, and he was a consenting adult with other consenting adults, so no one was hurt or harmed. But I do think that it is very important for online personalities to share things that they did online previously. Um, and, and I suppose they don't have to, but most times. Bro, like what he just said, like online personalities should like talk about stuff that they've done in the past. Uh, I don't, that don't matter. Like, you know, that doesn't matter. But obviously, if you've done some stuff, you know, that you don't really want people seeing, it'll probably come up. Like, you know, he's waffling. It's their previous life. No, he's not waffling right now. And, and we have to talk about it, right? In conclusion, Kylie's journey from Jamie to Sketch mirrors Jamie the historical path sketch. that most actors took um, from social outcast to celebrity. And this is just the nature of online personas and how to navigate it. Hopefully from this we can learn how to explore your past digital identity and your new digital identity in this age of entertainment and online service. What do you think about Sketch's past? Does it matter? How do we approach this issue? Let me know in the comments. How do we approach this issue? Well, we can't really, you can't do it. Like, what are you, what are you going to do? Like, what are you actually going to do? This dude, like, if he did do this, like, can't, like, you can't do nothing. I mean, unless, like, his sponsors and that don't want a former LGBTQ uh, OF, OF dude part of their brand, the face of their brand, and that's fair enough. Viewer retention is dropping. My viewer retention. Oh well, bro. Oh well. I want to see some of the comments on this. Let's see some of the comments. Buddy tried gay OF before streaming. The internet st stays undefeated. Someone was mid-jerk in a while... Right. Everyone's hiding something. Never would have thought Sketch was hiding this. Bro sounds like he's presenting this to the class. This might be the most insane internet detective work I have seen if it is true. If this is true. Bro Loki ended this guy's career and justified it with some 1987 word doc. Goat comment. Adding this, that ages line up perfectly. He's 25 now. A Reddit post in on his not safe for work account labeled him as 22, two to three years ago. That's actually crazy. That is crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I didn't even notice that. So, like, this is not, like, this isn't new as well. The Reddit post, where he posts, you know, his content, his adult content. And the ages match up. Bro. It, like, it's either a crazy, it's actually, this is a crazy, like, bro, he's, he, he might have a t gay twin brother that does the OF. Or, this is actually him. There's no in between. I don't think this is deep fake. Because, bro. Two to th Like, three years ago, no one knew Sketch. So, who would make a deep fake of Sketch sucking men off and wearing lingerie with his buns out? Like, who would do that? If you think about it. Who would do that? No one knew him back then. And if, if this was actually two, three years ago, 22... Now it's matching age. He's 25 now. That is, bro, that's insane. Same age, same place, same glasses. Looks identical. Bro, I reached platinum, 
Good job. Good job, Ibi. Platinum Rumble. Dobbs in the chat for Ibi. He could show me undeniable proof that isn't him and I wouldn't believe it. But the Reddit posts could be fake. Photoshop. Bro, no, you don't. They posted it years ago. How are you meant to Photoshop a, a post that's already up? You can't do that. And this was before everyone knew Sketch. Because he blew up this year, really. Who's here when Max reacted to it? Yeah, this is when I found the vid. Max was, Blackboy Max was reacting to it. But I was like, nah, I'm going to watch it on stream, on my stream. But this is how I found it. I, I was not that good that long ago. Yeah, this was like two to three years ago, the post. And bro, you can't take, like, before, before I read that comment and realized, like, I, I thought it was, could be AI, but I actually think this might actually be legit, bro. It's either him or like, some identical dude. Like, this dude is identical. Dude just destroyed his personal and professional life. I get that doing an OnlyFans was weird. And you guys hate guys too. Hate, hate gays too. But just outright calling Sketch a bad person because he's gay is weird. He could have... He could... Have had a f functional problems and even if it was just a personal interest, it doesn't matter to you that sketch has interests that you don't. Who, who called him? Who called him bad? No, like I don't s see any. Like I don't know where that came from. I don't like legit. No one's calling him bad. Uh, he just was that first. How is this actually actually crazy? Bro tried every way to make it out. Yeah. That's enough of the comments. But bro, that is crazy. That's crazy. I'm not gonna give it a like. Should I get- Nah, 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 nah. We don't know. We don't know. But that Reddit thing, that- That Reddit? Three- Two to three years ago. Matching age. Looks the same. Same glasses. From the same place. Is crazy. But I'm just saying, what if the photo of Reddit post is photoshopped? No, but the thing is, you, this dude is saying you can go on Reddit and look it up yourself. Like he's obviously, I'm not gonna do that. But if he actually photoshopped it, if this dude photoshopped it. Why would he do that? Because if he actually photoshopped it and this gets hundreds of views, someone's going to look into it as well. And if they figure out, oh, he just made it up, then he's going to get exposed. So I don't think so. Because it's, it's, he said it's on an actual account. And if it isn't, if it's photoshopped once again, this is going to get exposed for lying. And then, yeah, he's going to be in big crap. Sketch would sort him out for like, you know, s slander. But yeah. Look how many views, bro. That is crazy. Bro, this this vid really got him out. Is getting him out of the trenches, bro. Look, twenty six. The rest is like, bro. His first vid is one hundred four k. That's a lot. But this one, in less than twenty four hours, he's he might, bro. This is gonna hit a hundred k in less than twenty four hours. But yeah, this is crazy. I mean, but yeah, hmm. this might, yeah, as I said, it might be legit, bro. It might be legit, but it's just, it's not fact, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This, <laughs> this got me so, this is, ac this is so like out of nowhere, bro. Like no one actually, actually would see this coming. That sketch has done this stuff. If it is him. But yeah. This is yeah, the end of the reaction. New sketch news is crazy. And yeah, let me know your thoughts below on the situation.